Welcome back to Las Vegas Now. Everybody, if you hadn't noticed, summer is coming. So it's time to talk water restrictions with the Southern Nevada Water Authority. Here's our conversation. We are talking summer mandatory water restrictions because obviously it is about to get really hot in Southern Nevada. So what are those restrictions and why is it important to have them here? So during the summer months from May until August, uh, you're never supposed to water from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. These are the mandatory watering restrictions put in place. And it really is because that's the hottest time of the day, right, where evaporation occurs. So don't water from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And as a reminder, never water on Sunday. That's just uh, the rule of thumb throughout the year. And you're really doing this, number one, to save water, but also because you don't want to get a water waste fine. We're really ramping up on water waste investigations, and they can be pretty expensive. They started at 80 bucks and double thereafter. So, and one of the other things to think about during the summer too is you're allowed to water up to six days a week, but that doesn't mean that you have to. Right now, I'm only watering three days a week. How can we save money and save water at the same time? What are some ways that we can do that? So some of the ways you can save money is by number one, complying with the seasonal mandatory watering restrictions. So four times a year, that's all you have to do is change your watering clock four times a year, and that coincides with the seasons. And you can save up to $300 a year on your watering bill by simply changing those watering clocks. Another thing that you can do is get rid of that useless grass. So if you've got grass in your front yard or on the side of your house and you're not using it, get rid of it. And we'll pay you $3 per square foot, but you got to put in some water smart landscaping. And sometimes people think water smart landscaping is just cactus and rock, but it really isn't. There's some beautiful, vibrant, water smart landscapes out there. You can head down to the Springs Preserve Gardens to get some ideas and inspiration. And by doing so, you're gonna save yourself some money on your watering bill. You're gonna save some time from mowing that lawn and, and fixing the landscape up. And then most importantly, you're gonna save water. And lastly here, we'll just give us some tips on, on how to water. Yeah, so your sprinklers and then your drip emitters really need to be handled a little bit differently when you're setting it at your irrigation clock. Mm -hmm. So for sprinklers, we recommend the cycle and soak method. So that's really kind of the um, short and sweet. You're going to want to set your sprinkler clocks for three cycles for four minutes, one hour apart. And that really gives you kind of the best bang for your buck when you're watering. It gives it a chance to soak in and do the best for your landscape. Now, drip emitters are different. You're only going to want to do that maybe a couple times a week during the summer. And, and it's, this is the longer, the longer flow. And, and the time frame really depends on if you have a low flow or high flow emitter. So it can be anywhere from 20 minutes to 90 minutes. If you're, if you're still not sure what to do, go to our website, smwa.com. We've got lots of great information, how-to videos, and lots of really great tips on how you can be water smart. All right. You can get more information at smwa.com.